Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you different multilingual plugins for WordPress and if we go here to to the plugins area marketplace and we just write translations we can see here that there is translate press g translate local translate wiglot and google translator but if you can keep seeing here we can see here polylang but probably there are some missing especially wpml since it's not directly here to install and wpml is one of the most known wordpress translation plugins that's the name it says, WordPress Multilingual Plugin. And probably this is one of the most used because it's compatible with two plenty of other um, plugins for WordPress. Plus also the price, it's okay. It's on probably I would say on a regular price. And now that they have added also the automatic translation, WPML has become probably one of the best multilingual plugins for WordPress and I'm showing you here and the configuration it's really easy to change and add languages it has plenty of languages where you can do the translation and also you can set up your website structure either if you want directories if you have different domains or if you want to add parameters but this is probably the least recommended so these two are probably the best options from different domain probably the, if you're like very targeted or country targeted this is the main probably the best option and probably second the directories and you can do all the configurations uh, i have another video where i can talk about the tutorial where i talk about the wpml in the tutorial so if you want to dig deeper you can check out that video but to show you probably also some disadvantages of wpml and i have to say that's if, even if you have here the now with this automatic translation the you can set up the limit but if you overpass the limit when you're translating uh, sometimes it won't take as a, a account all the the characters for example here i'm still missing the 2000 12000 characters and if i don't use this uh, they disappear for the next month and i i have reset of the of the hundred thousand credits so that's uh probably a disadvantage that wpml has to fix out and also here on the translate on the translation engines but this is a positive thing is that they are now working with Deepul since probably four months five months and Deepul is a way better automatic translation engine rather than google or uh, microsoft or google because we all know that sometimes using automatic translation, that translation not that really accurate, probably really funny or the grammar is not really good. But now with Deepool, it has improved. If you don't know what's Deepool, Deepool, it's probably, uh, I think it's like five years or four years uh, company based in Germany that they use deep learning for the translation and it makes more accurate. If you want to test out here, you can use the Deepool translator and you can check out how accurate it is and to show you probably another worth mentioning disadvantage that WPML has is that if you have plenty of languages for example like me I have 11 languages on my website most of them are Deepool translated and if you do a change to your page then you will have to update one by one the pages languages and for example, I have here my page and I will just add a simple text, like say, hello. And I will update. And if I go back here, you can see here the pencil icon. And then I have this one. So if I have the whole language is already translated, you will have to go one by one to do the translation. So you will have to wait until they, they are doing like this new update that it should come like this or next month where it will be faster and then you will have to do the hello to Spanish then you will set to hola and then set up and then complete and then you will go to the French version and then say bonjour just to say hello And then you will have to wait for the update of each page 
and if again you want to do the changes on your page and you will have to eventually do back and forward this process so this is one of the big disadvantage of WPML that if you do changes or do some minor updates to your page then you will have to go back and forward to do the update to your page and also back to the update to your translated page we go here and we set up and then so those are as you can see there's no more the line of hello so we just have to go to complete and then here again and that's one of the disadvantages so for this case hopefully on the new update of WPML this is one of the things they take care of yes WPML gives you the advantage of having more control and don't having a word limit to translate but if you want to avoid these type of disadvantages then you have Wiglot Wiglot is a way faster multilingual plugin for WordPress and many other website platforms like Shopify and when you do some changes Wiglot also take care at the instant so yes Wiglot is a more expensive option comparing it to WPML but it's way faster and also on the website loading it's also really fast I already have another, any other video where I talk more in depth about Wiglot but if you're looking for some options for multilingual WordPress plugins or translation WordPress plugins or however you want to name them then Wiglot is another option a more simple uh, option for translating website on, in WordPress is WP Globus. It's the one, the plugin that I started with. It's free, but of course, if you want more features, then you will have to pay for the premium add-ons. Translate Press, it also has a free version and also it's a freemium. Of course, many and they have to earn money, of course. So they are like more freemium versions. If you have a small website, you can use the free version. So Translate Press, it could be another plugin that can help you to translate your WordPress website. Polylang, it also has the freemium versions. And Linguis, 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 it's another one that I have been recently contacted. They also have the automatic translation that it uses the advanced or artificial intelligence translation and it's another option they also offer as a plan packages where you can have different number of words so it will be a, a matter of question to to know what will what are your needs or, and what is your budget to say okay this is better for you i do recommend wpml for most of the websites but if you're more of a WooCommerce website or yes or e-commerce store then probably Wiglot will be a better option because you will save time you probably won't mess or actually you won't mess with any other plugin since this is of connected via API API and it will be easier to do or manage that translation and if you're more of a content oriented website like as I have, as I have said then WPML will be a better option. But if you also want to test out, there are these other plugins to translate WordPress and they could eventually make it easy, that translation. But as WPML keeps improving, it won't give that much of a headaches like the ones that I have because of the translations. But I do recommend it a lot. So if you have any more questions, write down the comments. Thanks for watching.